Chess friends, how are you? Welcome to our today's world championship game number two. This is your today's puzzle. Solve it and comment me. 60 to 70 IQ chess puzzle. Very easy peasy. Today Ian Nepomniachi of black pieces against Ding and chess friends. Tell me in the comments who will win the world championship. Ding or Nepo, who is your favorite chess player? This is a very tactical game for humans, not for me. Ding started with d4. Knight to f6. Here we have c5 Indian opening taking out the pawns to grab more space and Nepo have e6 c6, and d5 line, he played e6 as I told you knight f3 and d5, taking the pawn isn't a top rated move, he will make a central key pawn so Ding played h3, very surprising move that move never played before in world championship match, I think he is thinking himself as stockfish, that move is just a wastage of time and one move, I fear if he is a super grandmaster then who is a 1000 rated player. Best was to play knight here, Nepo takes the pawn on c4, e3, many of intermediate level players play b5 to protect it, let me show you, then play a5 to target it then c6 and after takes takes there is b3 to target back it takes then takes, so after c takes bishop takes check will come blocks then takes white will win back his pawn and gain a central pawn open rook file and big space with big strategy. So, back to the position. Nepo choose to play c5 his long term idea is to put the rook on c square to use the file in future as white will use his rook on c file, after bishop takes we do see a6 threatening to play b5 bishop here knight here, we have castle knight develops and knight here b5 bishop, backs and now we have bishop to b7, Nepo's plan is to play queen here then rook d8 to target this barrier pawn with 3 pieces, so Ding strikes the queen side with a4. Before good move instead of taking the pawn he closed the position to occupy black's freedom, knight here, knight to a5 again a top rated engine move by Nepo, opening up the light bishop and you may think white can win the pawn, let me show you the variation if it happen then bishop, takes takes knight back to d7 to target this, if you try to protect the pawn by playing queen c2, then rook c8 will come to make the position complicated for you, and if you think. While that's b pawn is unguarded let me attack it by moving my queen towards to him, no fool, then the knight will come to fork your pieces, you are a fool as I expected, so back to the position, he takes the knight on f6, you can play queen takes knight but there will no advantages for black, so Nepo accepted the challenge by playing pawn takes knight, he ding played mistake move e4, best was to play d takes e5, Playing e4 creates central structure weakness and lose a security of having key pawn. This move folds white position, the light diagonal will be a potential target for black, rook here to join the battlefield, so we have bishop, back to c2, white queenside position is restricted, we have queen c7. Black's strategy is to play castle then rook here to put pressure on this file, rook h3, h5 knight back to c6 to create possible threats on center side, Bishop have a wonderful diagonal with the g8 rook, so Ding have to play securely he played bishop here, he want to play queen here to put pressure on this pawn, rook to g8, threatening to play f5 and we have rook to c1 another mistake move best was to play queen e1 to free up some space, Nepo played castle bishop on d3 king d8 rook here and f5. Very critical move, if you take the pawn let me show you the variation, then rook takes d4 will come, sacrificing the rook. If you take the rook with your knight then rook takes g2 king slides away then rook takes check sacrificing a another rook, after king takes rook queen check, the king can't go there because of mate in one with the bishop and queen, so after king here there is a another checkmate with the killer bishop, bishop h6 checkmate, every squares are covered and the game will be over. So back to the position, if you play bishop here which is the best move according to me, then bishop c5 will come, rook to b1, then rook takes d2 sacrificing the rook, knight cannot take it because of this, bishop and rook line up on there and the queen is ready to destroy white's all hope, the f2 pawn is also targeted by the bishop, ha ha ha, so after queen takes d2 we will see queen g3, absolute brilliant move, the pawn cannot take the queen because it's pinned to the king, so after bishop back to protect this pawn from capturing and support this pawn, there is queen takes knight you know the pawn cannot take it so after queen here there is rook takes g2 check bishop takes and takes, game will be over, so, back to the current position, we analyze that pawn takes pawn is bad move so ding backs his bishop, 
but he could play bishop to b1, anyway we see here knight to c6, targeting this barrier pawn with knight. To move the knight from the diagonal so the bishop can target it potentially, rook is adding pressure on there so bishop arrived here to target the rook, Nepo sacrificed his rook, very clever move, Ding have to take the rook, knight takes d4, here we see queen to h5 by Ding Liren, threatening to arrive on there with the knight to offer queen exchange, we have f6, knight back to f3 but he could take the pawn on h8, to create some possible problems on there, there is 40 moves, strategy and variations that ding. Even Magnus cannot analysis it, that's why I call them my shoes, under my feet, ok Nepo takes the bishop with knight, we have rook takes c2, bishop captures pawn, now the position is totally winning for black, he have advanced pawns with good combination, to create so much problems and so much pain for white, play rook d2, supported by the knight, we do see here bishop, d6 and threatening to take the knight, after takes there is bishop check with the queen and you will lose your rook. So after king here Nepo pushed his pawn and after takes takes we have rook d4, c2 and threatening to promote this pawn, so queen h6 try to protect this square with the rook, e5 and that's it, Ding Liren endure so much pain on this game so he resigned the game, the rook have no square go run, so I complete the by playing rook back to d1 and after pawn captures rook takes queen, next day Ding have to play correctly, it's a big win for Nepom Niachi with the black pieces, I know he is a stockfish subscriber, we have rook here e4, and after some more moves later, we see queen takes pawn. Queen exchange, black is up a piece, and he is going to win the game, the single knight on the game can't do anything and black is trying to promote his queen and after few moves later black checkmated to white, don't forget to solve the puzzle and wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.